Jeff, I know it's a, it's a tough loss, but what did you see that you can build on for the NCAA tournament? Well, I thought we we competed. I mean, I was really pleased with the way we competed. We we just got ourselves a little bit behind the eight ball there in the first quarter. I uh, had some great shots that we normally make, and unfortunately the uh, ball didn't go in. And then I thought, you know, we battled back. We tied it up at halftime. I really liked where we were. And, you know, we, it, it was a ball game. I mean, they're a really good bad basketball team. They've got great size in the paint. Uh, some shooters. I thought their guard play was, was really good tonight. But we had our chances. I mean, you know, we go up two, and then then two hits a big three for them to put them uh, back up one. And then it was going back and forth there for a little bit. And, you know, it comes down to we, we got some stops. We just didn't get the offensive rebounds that we needed to get. Uh, one of the things I perhaps noticed was uh, had trouble getting the shots to fall early in the, in the first half. Switched out, had Yasin and Mikasa, and did Mikasa being in free up Dana to start getting a rhythm? Well, it, it, it freed her up some. I mean, but I, I, I thought we had some good looks starting the game. It's, I mean, we had some great looks starting the game. So it really wasn't a problem of, of, of us getting shots. It was just we uh, we didn't make them there, and that and that's part of the game. One of the things also, Yasin went in and played a pretty good defensive game. Uh, coming off the bench, can you uh, feel confident that you can rely on her to give you that kind of spark? Well, I've been confident in her all, all year. I mean, she has had a great ACC season for us. She's really played well the last three months. So I'm really pr uh, proud of her. She, uh, she, she she did a great job today. Now we have to wait and see for the NCAA, but are you still thinking to see Fort Wayne? As I, don't worry. I, I don't I have no control over that. I, I really don't care. I mean, I know we'll play our first two at home. Uh, and you've got to win your first two before you can even worry about what what, what region that that you're going to play. In. Had a pretty good contingent of traveling Cardinals fans here in Greensboro. Uh, does that kind of give your team the energy, maybe perhaps going forward? No, it was great. I mean, you know, we we, we have great fan support. That's one thing we we've always had. We'll, we'll continue to have. We've got a great group of, of, of young women that come out here and compete and represent our university and our city, and I, they, uh, they they represent our fans extremely well. Thank you. Thank you. Dana, a tough loss, obviously, but uh, still a lot of season left to play. So where, where are we going from here? Uh, what's the outlook, do you think? We just got to learn from it. Um, we just got to watch film, see what we went wrong. I thought, was, I thought we played a really good game. I thought we just missed some shots towards the end. It's still, even though you were missing those shots, your defensive game was still pretty on point. Uh, very physical game, though. Uh, are you going to learn from that, essentially? basically take away some uh, tidbits, like you said, watch film, figure out opportunities to improve on that? Yeah, we just we just got to do what we, we've been doing. We just got to be tough, watch film, and, and just keep getting in the gym, I guess. A lot of uh, Cardinals fans in the stands, did you feel that energy at all? Yeah, we, we felt the energy. They were, they're the best fans in the country. For Looking sure. forward to seeing yeah, them for the first couple rounds at home and in Fort Wayne, we hope, right? Yeah, hopefully. That's going to be pretty fun. Thanks. No problem. Bianca, your coaches have talked about how you're essentially the defensive leader of this team. I caught you calling out a couple plays during the day. What did you think perhaps we missed that uh, lost some of those opportunities? Uh, I mean, I felt like it was a lot of times when we had miscommunication, you know, on things switches with uh, Gillespie. Sometimes we didn't switch, sometimes we didn't have. So it was just some communication. And that was the time where there was big shots that they made, and we can't take none back. Is this the kind of loss that you can really use for field going forward? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we lost to them twice, so it's really it's, it's going to motivate us to even go harder and get deeper into the NCAA tournament. You get a lot of card fans in the, the crowd today. I'm certainly going to expect a bunch in the first couple rounds and hopefully in Fort Wayne. Does that energy feed into you? Yeah, um, uh, we're grateful and very humble for our fans to come out here and travel and support us in Greensboro. So, I mean, our fans are really dope. I hope they can come out and support us through the tournament also. Thank you. All right, yeah, yeah. Tough one, obviously. But uh, talk about your defensive effort. When you came in, started getting the rebounds, hit a couple threes to get the offensive rhythm going. Is that something you're going to build on now as you look to the NCAA tournament? Um, yeah, definitely. That's something I'm going to do going to the NCAA tournament. So. So is that what are the goals now? You're looking for you can't play tomorrow, but you're going to wait until selection. Probably going to get a two seed in Fort Wayne. Uh, so where do we go from here, basically? Um, I mean, we just got to regroup and you know, and just uh, put our focus on the NCAA tournament and you know what we can do and how far we go and you know we stick we stick we're going to stick to the goal, which is like try to win the national championship. A lot of Cardinals fans in the stands. Did you feel that energy from them? 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because um, they always like stay by us. They always support us. So we can never thank them enough for that.